Hey there, Eric with you from doghealthblog.com. Hope you're having a good day. I'm here hanging out with my buddy Stinky again. We're going through some stretches today. I recently wrote a blog article uh, regarding dog stretching and all the benefits and a lot of nuances associated with dog stretching. So uh, if you have a chance, please stop by. You can go to doghealthblog.com forward slash dog stretching and check that article out and even there's not a charge it's all on me so please check that out when you can I just wanted to show you uh, one of the stretches that I speak about or I write about in the article it's for the dog's hip extensor or the hip flexors I'm sorry we're gonna try to stretch this region of their body very vital for dogs of course when they're running or walking or trotting these muscles come into play uh, significantly and dogs are susceptible to injury or tightening of the musculature at that area just due to the repetitions on a daily basis they're using they're using those muscles so we, we, I think Stinky's telling me we better get going here he's on a schedule this guy he's got things to do so uh, for this stretch what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come on the hind leg here we're gonna lift up. I like to cup above the knee and below the knee. And then you're just gonna extend the leg a little bit more behind them. And you're just gonna raise until you feel resistance. And then you just wanna hold that for 15 to 30 seconds. You don't wanna to try to push through the resistance. You just wanna to try to sustain that. It should be comfortable. It should not be trying on your dog. And then you can lower that. And as you're going through with this, of course, be very gracious to your dog as you always are, I'm sure. And Stinky sure deserves that. He is the star pupil as always. Um, so again, this is a stretcher trying to stre stretch the hip flexors in this region. Very important again, very vital for your dog's activity level. Um, so we're gonna lift the hind leg one hand above or below the knee, one above it. We're gonna extend and once we feel the resistance, we're gonna to try to hold for 15 to 30 seconds. And I think you didn't want any more of that one. Every dog's tolerance is a little different. If your dog needs a break, by all means, come back later and try another one. But if, if you can try to work in three on each side, each hind leg, three stretches, uh, on a daily basis. Uh, the benefits are numerous. There's been a, a, a load of research done recently on dog stretching. And again, if you go to my blog post, doghealthblog.com forward slash dog stretches, you can read about all those juicy tidbits. And uh, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and keep wagging. Thank you.